everybody, welcome to my first video. Um, welcome to the channel. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Probably a lot of you are from Facebook. But today I'm just gonna show you how to pose a lion head. So this is my junior doe, um, Rosalina. And she's a seal. I'm pretty sure. Either seal or a really dark slimy sable. But I'm just gonna show you how to pose them. So I'm gonna come, <laughs> I'm just gonna say you probably, if you're watching this, you probably don't know how to pose them or you're bored. But um, basically, um, this is how I do it. And there are different ways to do it for everybody. Um, everybody does it different, mostly. I mean, everyone's styles are a little bit different, but this is how I do it. So first of all, you have the animal just sitting there, roaming around. I pick them up, I drop them. It's not from a like really high height or anything. It's just to release their um, tension that they're putting in their feet. And then you place their feet under their hips, or you let them, they're either gonna be pinched or not, so you don't wanna change that. So you pick them up, place them down, hold your hand right here, and you lift. Now, some of them will protest, as she is, And some will not. But you had to work with them on it. This is a really unflattering angle for her. <laughs> Anyways. And that's basically how it is. Anyways. Here's from the front. I have my hand right under her chin and I just some of them might bite. Others oh, won't. But she tends to sit up well, which tells me that she has a good body or a good structure to sit up well. She's still quite young. I'm not really a big judgment on the age or on them at this age. She's like eight, nine weeks old. Hey, stop. Anyways. Um, I will do one on the Hall Lops, um, and on Netherland Dogs, and apparently maybe on American Fuzzy Lops if I ever get pregnant. Um, but I'm open to suggestions if anyone has any. Um, I can try and make it work. But yeah, welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, this is Rosalina, and hopefully you'll see her again. Um, I'm actually going to get one more example who's a little bit of a better poser, and then I'll end the video. This buck peed on himself. If you can see the mat, matted fur on the front, I'm going to clean him up as soon as this video ends. But he poses up very nicely. I don't even have to. He will set his back feet if I lift his front. His bone's a little bit longer, but I really like his structure on him. He's got a really nice round top line, but I like to see. He's got a very high head set, he'll hold it. He's got a really big long mane, though I believe he's a teddy. Because he's just not breaking enough at his age. So he could be a... Uh, just a really really slow breaker which just happens and a break is the like hair there's gonna be like normal hair right here on the back but this is just all normal or all wool so he's either just a late breaker like a really late breaker it's only six months I don't see hardly anything or he's just a teddy which is a teddy is something that has no break but can still be useful in a breeding program but I really do like his type, and he's very wide. But yeah, this is a video I'm posing, not on a sensing type, so I'm not going to go too far into that. But that's, he's just a very easy poser. You want to get as many of these as you can because they will help you out in the long run. Um, those will be a little bit more flighty, especially if they're, they're younger. 
um, bucks as well. I mean, normally, um, bucks will calm down around breeding age if they've been bred. Well, not always. Lionheads are very iffy on, um, calmness, but this boy, very, very calm. Get yourself one of these. This is Lavender Fields Thompson. Um, very, very cute. I, I, I really like him. I'm glad I got him. He's a really beautiful buck that Don bred. So, yeah. Um, there, I've actually figured out, I'm going to do another video on presentation of the lion head, of what you're going to do to prepare him for the tables. <laughs> we ever get to put a rabbit on a table again. Um, but yeah. There's a lot of presentation work that goes into preparing the mane and the rabbit for the tables. So, oh, don't pee. Oh, just pee on the back. Oh, great. Okay. I just got my groom and go dirty. Anyways, um, so yeah, hopefully you can get your rabbits to pose. Um, I, definitely, I don't have a lot of rabbits like this, so. Um, you just gotta train the show ones. You don't really need to train the brood ones unless they can just do it. He's a brood buck. I might have shown him if he broke, but... <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, I really, like, even the face is really, really fuzzy. So... He's really cute. Anyways, I'm ending off this episode, uh, video with a cute little face. Um, I'm showing you. I do have some rabbits that don't pose. You gotta train them. Or the person before you is straight. You bite. See here. And I just pose the babies. Let's practice. This little buck. Little tort buck. Boop, boop, boop. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, remember to leave some suggestions on what you want me to do next. And I'll try and do that. So, um,. Arabian Nights says goodbye, and I'll see you all in the next episode, hopefully. Bye-bye. <laughs>